is Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today I've got a really quick tip for you that's going to get you started with using expressions inside of After Effects and we're going to do this by making a wiggle that grows over time. So as anyone would know, um, you can wiggle any kind of property inside of After Effects by using the expression wiggle open brackets value value close brackets. So for example here we have a wiggle that you uh, moves every second 50 uh, pixels or every cycle 50 pixels whatever you want to call it um, but if we wanted this effect to grow over time say for example at zero seconds it's at 150 and then at eight seconds it's at 50 50 uh, there's no way to do that with just the standard wiggle uh, expression you actually need to do something a little bit more complicated but it's still quite simple so don't worry too much uh, I'm going to show you how so I'm going to take my wiggle composition here and I'm just going to duplicate it and we'll call it wiggle grow OK, um, and I'm going to open it up now. Let's start from scratch. Let's remove this expression entirely. OK, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So now we've got nothing, no movement. We've just got a circle with a um, well, with nothing on it at the moment. So I'm just going to open up position and I'm going to alt click and type wiggle one comma 50 into the expression window. Now, that's basically how you create the basic wiggle effect. OK, it's going to wiggle every second 50 pixels. Uh, now, to make that grow is really quite simple. All you need to do is take your shape layer uh, and go to your effects window and grab a slider. OK, and then just drop that slider onto your shape. Uh, we actually need a second one, so I'm just going to duplicate that. I'm going to call the first one frequency, and this is going to represent our first um, number inside our parentheses, so one. And the second one I'm going to call int for intensity, and that's going to represent our second number inside our parentheses. Don't do anything else with these for now. Okay, so let's just pop inside our expression here, and I'm going to go to the very start of it and just hit enter to create a gap. And I'm going to type frequency. Now, capitalization is important. So capital F R E Q equals. And then I'm going to drag my pick whip here to the slider control control for frequency. Now, every line inside of After Effects expressions must end with a semicolon. So we're going to put a semicolon in there and you can probably guess what we're going to do next. We're going to create a variable for inter, uh, intensity, not integer. Sorry, uh, too much web design there. Um, and we're going to assign it the value of intensity slider and we're going to close that off with a semicolon now I'll just explain what this is basically whenever you type a word with an equal sign after it you're declaring a variable and a variable is any value that can change so for example the variable frequency will always be whatever position the slider for frequency is at so right now it's zero but if I were to change this to 93 then frequency would now represent 93 okay uh, same thing for in intensity intensity variable is the value of slider now as that changes so does the value of intensity um, which is why it's called a variable because it is variable now the last thing you need to do is just pop inside your wiggle um, values here and change the first one to frequency variable and change the one after the comma to your intensity variable okay now what this means is all our movement has stopped and i can tell you why it's because both of our sliders are set to zero so if i select uh, set the frequency slider to one and the intensity slider to 50 would have replicated what we had at the start every second it moves 50 pixels now this is just like any other piece of animation in After Effects. Now, all you need to do is keyframe it to increase that intensity. So we'll put a keyframe on frequency and intensity at 1 and 50 on the first frame. And then we'll go to 8 seconds and we'll change it to something stupid like, oh, I don't know, 50, 100. OK, uh, let's do it bigger than that. 100, 200. Why not? Let's go crazy. And now you can see that as we move over time, um, let's just maybe make that smaller so we can see. Uh, let's, let's set it to zero so we can see the uh, growth a bit more. You can see that over time it doesn't move at all, doesn't move at all, gets bigger, 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 crazy. And it's really as simple as that. So between those keyframes, <laughs> the movement gets even more and more erratic. Now, this can apply to anything, not just the wiggle expression. Anything that has values inside of it, you can apply to a variable, which you can apply to a slider and control it that way. This is just a great starting point. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. If you want more things like this, do let me know, and I'll make sure to do more videos in this sort of style. But until then, I'll see you all next time.
Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.